Okay, so this is a question that we went over in class uh, today. So I just want to go over it in the video here in case you couldn't make it to class or you need a refresher. So uh, problem 3.7 essentially is just asking us to diagram Mendel's dihybrid cross involving round and yellow peas to uh, peas that are wrinkled and green. So these are homozygous true breeding plants. Uh, all the F1 plants have round seeds with yellow cotyledons. Diagram the cross through the F2 generation using the forked line method. And the reason why I want to go through this again, and you can, you can, we did this in a previous video too, but the reason I want to go through it again is I want you to see how you can answer this question right here. So let me diagram this cross relatively quickly. Helps if I don't make any mistakes. So, yellow and round cross to green and wrinkled in the P1 gives us in the F1 all yellow and round. I could put the phenotypes in. yellow and round. Now cross this to another member of the F1 to get the F2 and we can use the fork line method and how do we do that? Well we take one character at a time and what do we get? We get one quarter GG, two quarter G little g, one quarter, two little g's, same thing over here. Now we combine these, right, to get the F2 genotypic and phenotypic ratio. How do we do that? Just like this. I hope you can see this text in the video. I'm going to write kind of small so I can fit it all on this piece of paper. So multiply these across. Okay, so here we have our genotypic ratio. And, you know, we could do the same thing for the phenotypic ratio. And there, what we would do is just use these ratios here. Uh, three quarter yellow, one quarter green, three quarter round, one quarter wrinkled. So, okay, we would still need to combine these to get the F2 phenotypic ratio of 9 to 3 to 3 to 1, and I did that in a previous video. But to answer this question right here, you know, we just need the genotypic ratio. So this question right here, based on the preceding cross, what is the probability that an organism in the F2 generation will have round seeds 
and green cotyledons in be true breeding. Okay, so what types of genotypes or what genotypes can have round seeds and green cotyledons? So round seeds, round is dominant. So they have to have at least one big W. So both of these genotypes can have round seeds. This one, that's wrinkled. So what about green cotyledons? Only one genotype can have green cotyledons. Two little g's, right? So both of these genotypes would be of a plant that, you know, is from a round seed and uh, a, has a green cotyledon. So the question, however, says, you know, it has to be true breeding, right? So only one of these genotypes is true breeding. This, this one up here, true breeding is homozygous. So homozygous for both pairs of alleles. So the question is asking us, essentially, uh, what is the probability that an organism in the F2 generation has this genotype? Two big W's, two little G's. So to figure that out, we just need to go to our F2 genotypic ratio here and look for the ratio that has two big W's or for uh, the genotype that has two big W's and two little G's. So we see right here, two big W's, two little G's. So this is the answer. Now we can also get that answer another way, right? So if you have two parents, that have this genotype, and you want to know what proportion of their offspring will have this genotype. Well, you don't need to diagram all of uh, the whole, uh, four, you don't need to use the whole fork line method to figure out all the possible genotypes and the ratios of those genotypes in the um, offspring. What you can do is just take each character separately just figure out the ratios for those characters separately and I have this memorized but you could use a Punnett square if you don't have these ratios memorized Focus in on the genotypes you're interested in. So we want offspring that have these two little g's and offspring that have these two big w's. Multiply those together. And you get the fraction of offspring which have two little g's and two big w's uh, for a genotype. So this is, you know, this is the fraction that of uh, the progeny that have this genotype. It's also the probability. We're predicting if there's, uh, you know, thousands of offspring produce, one sixteenth of them will have this genotype. So that's a shortcut you can use to answer these types of questions right here. You don't have to do the whole F2 cross and figure out every genotype that's possible in, in the ratio, uh, the fraction of that genotype in the um, group of offspring. You can just zone in on the genotype you want, multiply these together, and then get the fraction you're interested in.